Hello everyone, here's an English news lesson about an elephant with only three legs. Let's have a look. Please repeat the title. Three-legged elephant Vutomi survives with her herd support. Okay, now we are going to match the vocabulary at the top to the words at the bottom. First, please repeat. Adapted. Resilience. Harsh. Compassion. Predator. Utmost. Okay, maybe some new words for you there. Now let's match them to severe, toughness, highest, hunter, adjusted, and empathy. Okay, I'll get my pen. What do you think? Let's start with adapted. Adapted is similar to adjusted. Okay. Next one, resilience. Resilience is very similar to toughness. Okay, toughness. Harsh. Harsh has the same meaning as severe. Did you get that? Compassion. Compassion, well, that is like empathy. So the last one, utmost, must mean um, oops, <laughs> I missed one, <laughs> I missed one, sorry. Predator. Predator is hunter and utmost is highest. Okay, try to memorize those words and I will delete them right now. All right, here we go. Don't forget this worksheet is on my website and you can print it off uh, and, uh, and check all your answers there. Now let's go through the article. Please shadow my voice as I read it. Three, two, one. Vutomi the elephant, despite having a noticeable limp and only three legs, continues to live a normal life by adapting to her situation and keeping up with her herd. Dylan Pons, a content creator for Zuka Private Game Reserve in South Africa, shared his experience on latestsightings.com of when he came across a herd of elephants at Nsemani Dam during an afternoon drive. Despite Vutomi's loss of a limb, she finds comfort and relief in the water and continues to move with her herd. Vutomi's injury may have been due to a snare or predator attack when she was younger. However, her herd surrounds her, embraces her and shows an amazing sense of empathy and compassion. Dylan Pons warns people to give space to any injured animals they may encounter to avoid adding any stress to their already difficult situation. We are in their environment after all. Respect is of utmost importance when dealing with these gentle giants. Oh, a three-legged elephant and a very caring family. Let's uh, look at the quiz questions. Number one, what was Dylan Pons doing when he came across the herd of elephants? Hmm, do you remember? Let me scroll up. What was he doing when he came across the herd of elephants? Can you see it up? Ah. Here we are, look, he came across a herd of elephants. Ah, okay, so it was during an afternoon drive, we can say, he was driving. That's it, <laughs> he was driving. Number two, 
What caused Vutomi's injury? Mm-hmm. Vutomi's injury. Here it is. Vutomi's injury. It may have been due to a snare, like a trap, or a predator attack when she was younger. What, what, uh, what animals attack elephants? Lions? Tigers? <laughs> I don't know. People? Humans? Mm. Okay, let's look at the conversation here. And again, please shadow my voice. Hey, look over there. Does that elephant only have three legs? Oh my God, you're right. Poor thing. How is she even walking like that? I don't know, but she seems to be keeping up with the rest of her herd. Look at how they keep checking on her. Oh, that one is helping her along. It's kind of heartwarming to see how kind and protective they are of each other. Definitely. I think this might be one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. And we'll wrap up with some discussion questions. Now, I want you to pause the video after each question and try to answer it. Okay. Number one, when you think of Africa, what animals do you imagine? Have you seen any of them? Number two, some animals are endangered. What can people do to protect them? Number three, if you could choose any zoo animal to have as a pet, <laughs> which would you choose and why? Last one, number four, what can we learn from Vutomi and her elephant herd? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> okay, right. Thank you very much. Do check that out. My, my hand goes out of the screen. Do check this out uh, on the website. The link is below and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.